Hi, fourth grade. Today we're going to continue with unit six. Our lesson today is 613. And the focus of our lesson is multiplying whole numbers by fractions. So we have to know two things for this lesson, what a whole number is and what a fraction is. So a whole number, any complete full number, any of the counting numbers. So if you're counting one, two, three, those are all whole numbers. 1 million is a whole number, 5,000 is a whole number. Fractions are parts of numbers. So anything that is not a whole number, that is for our purposes between zero and one, are fractions. So we're gonna multiply those two together today. Our first example, our whole number is four. You can see written here in red. And then I have a diagram or a picture that shows a fraction. So think of these as, as cubes. I have one orange cube and I have four cubes total. So the one colored is one, one out of four total. My fraction is one fourth. So I'm gonna think about this. I want four one fourths. So below, I have drawn for you four one fourths. I have one fourth, I have one fourth, I have one fourth, I have one fourth. Each of them represents one fourth. So I have four of them. I want to know how many I have in total. I can think of this as a repeated addition problem as well as a multiplication problem. So let's write it as a repeated addition problem. I have one fourth, there's one one fourth. I have another fourth, two one fourths. My three, third one fourth and my fourth one fourth. I'm going to add them up. One fourth plus one fourth is two fourths. Two fourths plus one fourth is three fourths. Three fourths plus one fourth is four fourths. And we all know that we can't leave it like that as four fourths because four fourths is the same as the number one. Now that's the same, what we wrote up here, four times one fourth is the same as this, this repeated addition problem. So the whole number four, times one fourth equals four fourths, because we just counted it up, which also equals one. So we did it as a repeated addition problem and as a multiplication problem. Now at the end, I'm gonna show you a trick for multiplication, but I wanna make sure you understand what it is before we do any tricks. Let's try another one. So this time I have the whole number two represented by the two of clubs. And my fraction is I have one green out of how many? Out of three, so it makes my fraction one third. Now I want two one thirds, which I have provided for you. So I have one third here and I have one third here. Now remember we can do this two ways. We can do it multiplication or we can do it as repeated addition. So I have one third plus one third. So let's write down that problem. And when I add them, I know I could do it because my denominators are the same. One third plus one third is two thirds. That's the same thing as saying two times one third equals two thirds. Start looking at these multiplication problems and see if you can figure out what my trick might be when we get to it. I'm gonna try another one. I have the whole number five this time. And what is my fraction? I have one blue colored out of two pieces. One blue colored out of two pieces. That means my fraction is one half. So according to our problem, we needed five of them. I have five drawn for you here. One half, one half, one half, one half, and one half. Now we can do it as a repeated addition problem. Remember, I can add all my halves. So I'm gonna write them down. One half plus one half, that's two of them. Plus one half, that gives me three, plus one half, 
plus one half. And now let's add them. One plus one is two. One half plus one half is two halves, plus one half is three halves, plus one half is four halves, plus one half is five halves. Hmm. Who knows how to simplify that because this is a fraction greater than one and we do not leave them like that. So I'm going to think to myself, I'm going to do some division in my head. How many times can two go into five? It can go in there two times. In my time, I'm going to multiply two times two is four. I started out with five, so how many do I have left over? I have one because five minus four is one. And I put it over my denominator. I have one half. So let's look at that. I have five holes times one half, which we said equals five halves, which equals, as a mixed number, two and one half. Are you starting to see my trick yet? Hope you do. We're gonna try this one. This one's a little bit different. What do you notice? My numerator is not going to be one this time. My whole number is three, great. But I have two colored this time. So I have one, two colored out of one, two, three, four, five. Two fifths is my fraction. I have three of them written here. So I have one fifth and one fifth. I have one fifth and one fifth. I have one fifth and one fifth. So each of these are equal to two fifths because I have one fifth and one fifth equals two fifths. So let's add them together. The first one shows me two fifths. My next one shows me two fifths. And my third one shows me two fifths. I can add them because they have the same denominator. So two plus two plus two is six. My denominator stays the same. This is also a mix, an improper fraction, which we have to make to a mixed number. So I'm gonna ask myself, how many times does my denominator go into my numerator? How many times does five go into six? One time, I'm gonna multiply in my head, one times five, I get five, and I'm gonna subtract from my numerator. Six minus five is one. That becomes my fraction. So one and one fifth. Let's see how that looks if we multiply. Our whole number was three. Our fraction was two fifths, and that equals six fifths, which you said equals one and one fifth. Are you seeing my trick yet? Are you seeing my trick yet? Let's see, before we go on to that, the math journal page, I wanna show it to you. So if I had four as my whole number, and I want to multiply it by one-sixth. If we added them together, we have one-sixth, 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 and one-sixth, and we get four-sixths. So how can I make four-sixths out of my multiplication problem? Here's the trick. Remember, every whole number can be written as a fraction. How do I write the whole number four as a fraction? Put it over one. Then I just multiply straight across. I have four times one, and I get four. I also have one times six, and that equals six. That's my trick. Hopefully that will help you, but hopefully you have an understanding of where this all comes from. I want you to open to page, oh my goodness, I lost my page number. I think it's page 224 in your math journal. If not, I apologize, find this one for me. Looks like it got cut off a little bit. Um, oh my goodness, it did get cut off. So I don't even know my problems. All right, we're gonna have to pause our video and come back. Hold on, you guys. Well, we're back fourth grade, we're on part two now. I, you can see all of these parts and it is page 224. So make sure you get your math journal out and open to page 224. You will have problems like this on your math test. So let's pay close attention to this. First, let's read the information. 
Lip balm protects your lips from chapping. It can be made at home from the help of an adult. The ingredients below are for one batch. A batch smells, fills four tubes. So we can see our four tubes here. Each batch, this is for each batch. Four teaspoons of beeswax, two of shea butter, three of almond oil, and one eighth to one teaspoon of flavoring, depending on what your flavor is. So it says solve using drawings, words, and equations. So we are gonna try and answer these the best that we can. So Yasmin made two batches of lemon lip balm. So her flavoring choice was lemon. How many teaspoons of almond oil did she use? Hmm, even though she made lemon balm, so we wanna know how much almond oil did she use? So I'm gonna highlight almond oil. That's what's important. And she made two batches. Remember our ingredients are for one batch. All right. So we had three teaspoons and how much almond oil? All right, so let's, let's draw a little picture here. So each batch takes three teaspoons. I have batch one. I have batch two, and it takes one, two, three teaspoons for batch one, one, two, three teaspoons for batch two. So how many teaspoons did we just use? If I count them up, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna draw six teaspoons here. Now we're going to take what we did and we're gonna put it into different, we're gonna write it in different ways as an addition equation, a multiplication equation, and we're gonna write it as words. So we've been talking about addition and multiplication. Let's start with those first. So what did I add in this? Batch one had three teaspoons. Batch two had three teaspoons. And in the end, I had six teaspoons. How do I do that as multiplication? Let's look at this. I have two and each one has three. So how do I say that? I have two batches. Each one has three, and that gives me six total. All right, let's put this into words now. So we use the word batches, and we're gonna replace it with groups. So how many total groups do I have? I'm going back to my drawing. I have one, two. I have two groups. Each group had how many in it? Look back at my drawing again. Each group has three. So I have in words, two groups of three. Addition, three plus three is six. Multiplication, two times three is six. Your words and your multiplication should look very similar. So that wasn't very challenging. That was whole numbers, but we're working on multiplying fractions. So let's try one with some fractions. All right, cinnamon flavoring is very strong. So only one eighth is used. So I'm going to highlight one eighth because that's important to me for each batch. But I want to make five batches. All right. So let's draw a picture. I have one batch, two, three, four, five batches. How much goes in each batch? Right there. One eighth. So I'm going to write one eighth underneath each of my batches. So I could add these up and figure out my answer. I want to know my total. So I have one eighth. I'm going to put it in my addition equation. Make sure I count the right one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And that's going to equal one eighth plus one eighth is two eighths plus one eighth is three eighths plus one eighth is four eighths plus one eighth is five eighths. So I have five eighths. How do I write that as a multiplication equation? So I'm taking my total number of batches, which is five. Each batch I'm going to multiply by has one eighth in it. Remember my trick? I can make it into put my one under there because it is every fraction can be every whole number can be written as a fraction if you put it on put it the the number one underneath it as a denominator and I multiply across and I get five eighths 
So I put that into words. How many groups? Remember, groups are replacing batches. I have five groups. Each group has one eighth in it. And my answer is over here, five eighths. All right, so your job will be to answer questions three and four. And make sure you share them with your teacher. So let's just make sure you're getting the right information. He has four batches of marshmallow lip balm. One half of a teaspoon of marshmallow for each batch. So four batches each have a half. Let's look at number four. All right. This one's a little bit more difficult because you also have to think of how many tubes are in a batch. Let's make sure you have the right information. So remember, each batch has four tubes. So Julia made 24 tubes. And then she used three-fourths of a teaspoon for each batch. Oh, so we have to figure out how many batches are in those 24 tubes. So all those numbers are important. And it asks one other question, too. Once you get your answer, you have to tell it between what two whole numbers is your answer. So to help you out just a little bit, if my answer is two and one half, what are the whole numbers on each side? What's a smaller whole number and what's a larger whole number? The whole number currently is two. So two and a half is a little bit bigger than the whole number two. And it's a little bit smaller than the whole number three. So it's looking for something like that in this section. If you have any questions, be sure and ask your teacher. And have a great weekend.